Welcome to another comparison video and in this one, I'm going to compare the Infinix Note 30 Pro with the Samsung Galaxy A24 and the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G. Now, here are the prices, the RAM and storage. The Infinix Note 30 Pro stands out as it comes with more physical RAM and storage. That's a good start for Infinix, but let's check out what each smartphone comes with in the box and see which one comes with more accessories. Now, starting with the Infinix Note 30 Pro, it comes with a 15 watt wireless charger. How many smartphones do you know that come with this? You get a hard case, glass screen protector, earphones, USB Type-C cable, and a 68 watts fast charger. Infinix is giving you all that you need, and at this rate, they might even give you a house and a car. <laughs> now, moving to the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G, it comes with a TPU case, USB Type-C cable, and a 67 watts fast charger. Now, it almost feels like Infinix knew that the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G would come with a 67 watts fast charger, and they decided to make the 68 watts. And what about the Samsung Galaxy A24? Well, all it comes with is a USB Type-C to Type-C cable. Now, moving to the build quality, let me allow you to guess which smartphone has the best build quality. Is it the Samsung, Redmi? Nope, it's the Infinix Note 30 Pro. It has a glass rear, a plastic frame, no Corning Gorilla glass protection at the front, but it's an IP53 dust and splash resistant smartphone. The Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G has glass at the rear as well, a plastic frame, no Corning Gorilla glass protection at the front, and it doesn't have an IP rating. For the Samsung Galaxy A24, it has a plastic rear, plastic frame, no Corning Gorilla glass protection at the front, and no IP rating as well. Now, checking out the external features of these smartphones, the Samsung and the Infinix have a dual SIM and memory card tray, while the Redmi has a hybrid SIM card tray. The Infinix Note 30 Pro is the only smartphone here with one microphone, which is sad, while the other two smartphones have two microphones. All three of them come with a 3.5mm audio jack and a USB Type-C port. Now for the speakers, the Samsung Galaxy A24 has a mono speaker, while the two other smartphones have dual stereo speakers. Between these two smartphones, which one has the best speakers? Well, I would say the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G, but the sound difference between the two is very very tiny. All three of them have a side mounted fingerprint scanner, the Samsung Galaxy A24 is the least responsive, while the unlock speed on the Infinix Note 30 Pro and the Redmi Note 12 Pro is on par. And then the Redmi Note 12 Pro has an IR blaster at the top that you can use to control appliances. Moving to the display department, all three smartphones have an AMOLED display, all are full HD plus displays, the bezel on the Samsung Galaxy A24 are the largest on this table, and it has a teardrop camera notch which some of you don't like. I personally don't mind it at all. The bezels on the Redmi Note 12 Pro are not bad, but the Infinix Note 30 Pro has the thinnest bezel here. Now for the refresh rate, the Infinix Note 30 Pro and the Redmi Note 12 Pro screen refreshes at 120Hz, while the Samsung Galaxy A24 has a 90Hz refresh rate. Now the difference between the 90Hz panel on this smartphone and the 120Hz panel on the other smartphones is very negligible. I mean, I can see it, but they are all fast, smooth, and good looking displays. Now, where there's a huge difference between these three smartphones is with HDR content. The Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G is the only smartphone here that supports HDR, and with it, you get deeper blacks, richer colors, and good contrast. For brightness, you can use any of them under direct sunlight, but the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G has the brightest display with a peak brightness of 1100 nits. So for the display department, they are all good. You'll be fine watching content on all three smartphones, but from a technical point of view, and if I had to pick a winner, the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G is the one I would pick. Now moving to the processor, the Samsung Galaxy A24 and the Infinix Note 30 Pro come with the MediaTek Helio G99 processor, which is a 6 nanometer processor, while the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G comes with a Snapdragon 732G processor and 8 nanometer chipset. Running on Total Benchmark test, the MediaTek Helio G99 chipset is the faster processor. Moving on to Geekbench, the smartphones with the G99 processor have better single and multi core scores. Now, for gaming, PUBG ran well on all three smartphones. All of them played this game at HD graphics and high frame rate. The gameplay was smooth with no lag or hitting issues. But I must say, I enjoyed playing the game on the smartphones that had dual stereo speakers, and that's the Infinix Note 30 Pro and the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G. Now, if you're a Call of Duty player, the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G is the device to go for as it plays the game at very high graphics and very high frame rates. The other two smartphones play the game at medium graphics and high frame rates. As for the gameplay, all three smartphones play this game well. Moving to Genshin Impact, the Infinix Note 30 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy A24 default graphics setting is at the lowest, while the Redmi Note 12 Pro run the game at low graphics. 
You can increase the frame rate to 60 on all three smartphones and they handled it well. For Mobile Legends Bang Bang, all three smartphones played the game at high refresh rate and high graphics and the game ran well on all of them. Now, which smartphone is the best for gaming? Well, the battle is between the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G and the Infinix Note 30 Pro. I'm taking out the Samsung Galaxy A24 because it doesn't have dual stereo speakers, which is important for gamers. Now, the Infinix Note 30 Pro and the Redmi Note 12 Pro have liquid cooling technology inside them. Liquid cooling is important because it helps reduce the the heat generated by both smartphones when you push them to the limit. The Infinix Note 30 has a feature called bypass charge where you can connect the phone to its original charger, the power will bypass the battery and power up the smartphone. Now, this is a useful feature for gamers who want to play games for hours, charge their smartphone and have a cool smartphone to hold. Now, multitasking on all three smartphones is great. For the Android operating system, the Infinix Note 30 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy A24 are running Android 13, while the Redmi Note 12 Pro is still running Android 11. With the Samsung Galaxy A24, you get at least three years of software updates, while the Infinix Note 30 Pro and the Redmi Note 12 Pro, we're not sure if those smartphones will get software updates. Moving to the cameras, I'm going to show you you three sets of pictures and I want you to pick the one you like. And here's the second set and the third one. Pictures captured by the Redmi Note 12 Pro are on the extreme left. The Infinix Note 30 Pro captured the pictures in the middle, while the Samsung Galaxy A24 captured the pictures on the extreme right. Now I'm guessing most of you will pick the pictures captured by the Samsung Galaxy A24. It has the lowest megapixel count, 30 megapixels, but the processing is better. Now for scenes that require HDR, all smartphones do very well, you can see my face well and the sky well. Now when you zoom in, the Infinix with its 32 megapixel front-facing camera shows more details. Portrait shots on all three smartphones look good with good separation, the colors of my hoodie is not pink, it's red and the Samsung Galaxy A24 shows the real color. For the skin tone, I think I prefer the looks of the Samsung Galaxy A24 followed by the Infinix Note 30 Pro. Now, in this tricky situation, I was back in a window and the Infinix HDR is kind of the best, you can see. Now, it's time to test out the front facing camera. Which one looks good? Which one do you prefer? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Now, the Samsung Galaxy A24 has a 30 megapixel front facing camera and it can only shoot in 1080p, 30 FPS. The Infinix Note 30 Pro has a 16 megapixel front facing camera and can shoot in 2K, 30 FPS. While the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G can shoot in uh, 1080p and it has a 16 megapixel front facing camera as well. So, which one looks good? Which one is. Uh, which one would you prefer? Which one has the best audio quality? Let's test our dynamic range. Which one is handling dynamic range better? Actually, none of them, so <laughs> that's a bummer. But hey, let me know which one you're going to pick if you have to choose one. Front facing camera test between these three smartphones. Now moving to the red cameras, looking at the pictures captured by all three smartphones, I can't pick a winner. They all look fantastic and very similar. Night photos look good on all three smartphones as well. Now taking pictures of a human subject, all three of them look good. For portrait pictures, Infinix is handling HDR better and I like the skin tone captured by the Redmi Note 12 Pro. What's up guys, red camera test between these three smartphones. The Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G comes with a 108 megapixel red camera. Same with the Infinix Note 30 Pro. While the Samsung Galaxy A24 comes with a 50 megapixel red camera. Now, which one sounds better? Which one looks better? Let me know in the comment section below. Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G is shooting in 4K 30fps. Infinix Note 30 Pro is shooting in 2K 30fps. While the Samsung Galaxy A24 is shooting in 1080p 30fps. So which one looks better? Which one sounds better? Let me know in the comment section below. Two X zoom, red camera test. Which one looks better? Which one sounds better? Again, two X zoom. Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G is shooting in 4K 30fps. Infinix Note 30 is shooting in 2K 30fps. While the Samsung Galaxy A24 can only shoot in 1080p 30fps. But in 2X zoom, which one looks better? Let me know in the comment section below. Now for the battery department, all three smartphones come with a 5000mAh battery and all three of them will last the entire day if you are a light or medium user. 
The batteries are great on all three smartphones and you can't go wrong with any of them. Where there's a difference is with the battery charging time. The Infinix Note 30 Pro comes with a 68 watts fast charger, the Redmi Note 12 Pro comes with a 67 watts fast charger, while the Samsung Galaxy A24 doesn't come with a charger. <laughs> now I used an original 25 watts Samsung charger and here's the breakdown of the charging time of all three smartphones. Now the Infinix Note 30 takes charging to a flagship level with its wireless charging capabilities. It also has reverse wireless charging and no other budget smartphone within its price range has this feature, so that's a big deal. After checking out the build quality, display, performance, cameras and battery, which smartphone would you go for? I won't pick the Samsung Galaxy A24, I'm leaning towards the Infinix Note 30 Pro, but let me know which one you're going to pick in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this comparison video. Now, if you want to watch my full review of the Infinix Note 30 Pro, you can click on this video over here. Follow reviews, signing out.